if you want to impress me on my first day, take me to Popeyes and I'll be like unbuttoning my shirt. Cooking my feelings with Jamesy. And now, welcome back to another episode of cooking or eating, whatever this is, because I'm gonna do something fun and special. I was inspired by this picture right here of uh, fried chicken cake. And I was like, you know what? Okay, it's usually made with like a cornbread and like mashed potato and like all of those like goodies and topped with like fried chicken. It's glorious. When I first saw that picture, it was like, my life has changed. I can't be same James Park anymore. And I'm gonna create fried chicken cake using Popeyes. That's right, that's right, that's right. You heard it, you heard it, you heard it. I'm gonna create fried chicken cake with Popeyes. Like, I can't go to a wedding and be impressed by your wedding cake because it's not your fried chicken cake, you know? So all you need for this, it almost looks like book farm, isn't it? Okay, but I'm kind of going with the flow, but that's the whole point of my cooking if you haven't noticed. So let's see how this works. So I got two sides of mashed potato and I got 12 pieces of biscuit. I know it sounds a lot, I think like it was like 4,000 calories, but still that's a reason to sell it. Oh my god, 4,000 calories. Um, but you know what, you need to have, this is going to replace the cornbread part. Like, you know, no one has time to like create the cake thing. Like you just want to, overall you just want to eat fried chicken. This is just a vehicle to deliver fried chicken. So just go with the biscuit. And their biscuit is fucking like bombdiggity.com, dot com, dot com. Yeah, anyway, so, and then I got four pieces, so that's what you will need. I, I'm i not sure how it's going to work out, but I'm pretty sure it's going to work out because I got 12 biscuits to provide the strong foundation, and then this is going to work as a glue and icing, and this beautiful oh, chicken is going to top, you know, instead of fruits, because who needs fruits when you can have fried chicken? So, shall we start making it? I, I think so, because I'm starving. Ugh. We need a plate, right? Oh my god, these chicken look so good. So, oh, beautifully well organized as biscuits are. Can we just appreciate it? Like, fuck macaroon, I want this. Like, hello. Oh, they're so beautiful. Okay, let's start with the base. Do you want to get this kind of like paring knife? Uh, mashed potato! Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's spread this mashed potato so that, you know, like it can stick to the bottom. It doesn't have to have too much. You just want to have some sort of like a glue part so that it will stay and hold the fried chicken and everything. I think that should be good. Like, like that. Kind of like a little pasty art, right? And then, so, one, two, make sure they stick. Three, four, okay. And then we gotta layer it up, you know? And then put more mashed potato. Oh my god, that looks so naughty. So good. Ooh, it's looking like a cake already. So that's the cornbread part, and then you're gonna try your best to cover these with like mashed potato. You see what I'm doing? Like you gotta put the knife on the flat side and just go up and down, up and down. Try to cover it as well as you can. So you gotta be smart with the distribution because you gotta leave this one to cover the top, you know? Ah, uh, mm. uh, so good. Put another package, stir it with this lovely delicious gravy. So like the picture that I saw, the gravy was like drizzled on top but I think just mixing the gravy with mashed potato is gonna give enough flavor itself. And instead of drizzling, uh, no, what is this? Gravy? I wanna drizzle honey. Yeah, it's honey. So 
So that's definitely not a great job, but you want to leave a little bit of mashed potato so that you can eat it, you know. And you got to smooth it out a little bit, make sure they're all even. And, you know, I've seen people doing that. So we got the base down. You see? Doesn't this look like cake? I think so. And I think we're almost done. And you just want to top. Oh, yeah! So the, the leg part goes here. That looks beautiful. Let's drizzle some honey, babe. Oh, yes! Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Look at, look at, look at, look at this beauty. Oh my God. So shall we, shall we take a bite? Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Okay. Oh yes. Uh. Are you serious? What? Mashed potato is like the best dipping for chicken. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for watching, eating my feelings, I guess, or cooking, whatever I'm doing. I hope you make this fried chicken cake because it's incredible. I'm telling you, it's incredible. It's I N C R E D I B L E incredible. Or even if, like, when you're the Popeyes, just soak, just soak your mashed potato. Not, not mashed potato. Soak your biscuit. The mashed potato is, it's incredible. I, I, I can't even describe. Mm. Send this video to the zoo one Popeyes or a fried chicken or a fried chicken cake. There is an easy tutorial. I've never made this, but it's super easy, and it's made out of a Popeyes. Even better. So I hope you will make this, enjoy, eat your feelings, and don't judge other people how they eat fried chicken because it's a very personal, okay? I, I feel like I have to show my personal side of how I'm enjoying my fried chicken, but don't judge me, okay? Anyway, thank you for watching another episode. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I'm so just right now. Um, I'm done. James E. out. Bye. Don't worry, I'm going to eat all of this.